So, I don't know about you guys, but I love ass. And what I mean by ass is augmented and suspended sweep shapes. Three S's, not two, but that one's cool as well. So, here's how we're going to start this off. We're going to start by using the second inversion of E minor. Which is standard fare. You're thinking, okay, Connor, I know why the hell you do that. It's pretty normal. But, here's the dealie. What we're going to do after the fact there is we're going to keep the similar idea of that shape. And by that, I mean E on the B string. And the 16th fret on the G. Also known as B. I don't know why I said that first. Anywho, what we're going to do is take our pinky and augment. And we are going to take our pointer and suspend. So the next part of the shape is going to look something like this. Now, yeah, you could like go into theoretical stuff about saying, I'm replacing the minor third with the major second, and I'm replacing the fifth with the minor sixth. Nah, 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 nah. But the fact of the matter is, it's cooler to know something that you don't know the name of than know the name of something you don't know how to do. So think of it this way. You already know how to do this shape, I hope. All we have to do is do that exact same shape, but just stretch out these two fingers, just like that. Boop, boop, boop. So, one more time between those two. And after that, we're actually gonna stay on the 14th fret here with our pointer. We're just gonna bring everything else down with it. My ring finger, not my pinky, I know, I'm weird, is gonna go to the 17th fret, and then we're going to do our little diminished shape. Alright, so the first three shapes combined. And now this last shape is where things get a little teeny tiny bit weirder. So I want to keep the ass idea that I was working with earlier alive but I want to move it to a different inversion of E minor. So, as opposed to the second inversion, we're going to scoot down to the first inversion. But what I wanted to do there is still what I did on the last string, great sentence, Connor, which is to scoot one finger forward, ergo augment, and scoot one finger back, ergo suspend, boom. But here's where it gets weird. Since I would normally do, you know, a rolled shape, right? So 15, 12, 12, 12. What I'm going to do instead is still keep the rolling shut up. But I'm also going to change the finger I'm doing it with because my pointer is going to be busy playing 11 here. So as opposed to this, I'm actually going to be doing this. Now... What I was saying about the last shape doesn't really apply to this one quite as much because, you know, to this isn't quite as much of a stretch. You don't really have to change which fingers you're doing what, etc., etc. Whereas here, my brain thinks more along the lines of, like, let's say G sharp minor, which would be like 16, 11, 12, 13. So if you really wanted to think hard, we could just say we're doing a semi-suspended G-sharp minor shape here. 16, 11, 12, 12. But I think about it in the context of E, so I don't think of it quite like that, but similarly. Anywho, so one more time through everything, and this is what it's going to sound like. Sped up a hair, wish me luck. And now you know why the hell I do that.